Hi, I'm Jay from Real Street Performance. Today we're going to talk about doing a boost lead check and why it's important on your force inducted vehicle. On a force inducted engine, boost is power. So you want to make sure that the system is not leaking air because if it's losing boost, it's going to be losing power. Depending on the system and how it's set up, having a boost leak is detrimental in a few different ways. On a turbocharged car, if you have a boost leak, the turbocharger will just speed up to meet the same boost target most of the time. And that's going to increase back pressure and the workload on the turbocharger. In addition to that, if you have a mass airflow sensor car, it's accounting for a certain amount of air. And if that air doesn't pass through the entire system and leave the tailpipe, then the fueling is gonna be off. On a MAP sensor based car, um, the boost leaks will typically make for uh, erratic map signal, which will change um, injector pulse width and uh, the timing and make that a, an erratic situation, which is harder to tune, making for an engine that doesn't run as well. So in order to do this test, you're gonna make yourself a tool, um, or you could probably purchase it through a vendor online. But the idea is to um, cap the inlet of the turbocharger and fill the system with air and then start fishing around for air leaks. So uh, you can use a spray bottle full of soapy water. Uh, you can use a smoke machine if you have access to that or just use your ears if it's quiet. So unless you have an engine that has a tremendous amount of overlap where both valves are open at the same time, you can just feed air into the turbocharger um, and just listen. If you need to use a spray bottle with some soap in it, you can do that and spray around. Um, but generally, you, you can hear the leaks and go chase them down, whether it be a coupler or a vacuum line or maybe the intercooler core has split. But if you just feed air into the system and then just take a listen, you can generally fish out where they are. Um, this car has these um, uh, quick couplers on the uh, boost control solenoid with the nylon line and one of the seals is leaking on that. So that'll be the first thing we address. And this is something you wanna do uh, before tuning. Hopefully you're enjoying these little tech tips and you're getting some information that helps you with your build. Tune in next week for another tech tip. You could uh, subscribe below or like us on Facebook. Thanks.